How are you today? My name's Troy and in this video I'm introducing a certain style of flute that I make uh, which is a hybrid between three different flute styles, a South American kenna, Japanese shokuhachi tuning and a Native American uh, pentatonic five note scale flute. So I'll have a bit of a play of this and then I'll give you a bit of a breakdown about this flute. So there you go, uh, that's a, a, a style of bamboo flute I've been making, uh, which I kind of nicknamed a Kenna Shakuhachi. And the reason for that is because, firstly, the South American Kenna is the mouthpiece of these flutes, which I've adapted to uh, my own style of, of making. And these is, this is a traditional Kenna which is a South American flute, which is a nice, full, open-hearted sound. So uh, that's a standard seven-note uh, Western scale on those flutes with a little back hole. So that's the voice of these flutes. And now the, the tuning of that flute is actually a Japanese shakuhachi flute, which is a very, quite a different uh, and a more austere um, mouthpiece design, which can be a lot harder to play for a lot of beginners. So that's why I've adapted this style, because I find this is a lot easier for beginners to pick it up. Uh, not such a big gap then to come into the shakuhachi. But uh, just to give you a feel for the shakuhachi sound. So there's a lot more zen, a lot softer and gentler, but again, uh, can be a real handful for a beginner to get that sound right. The final flute that's in the in this this flute is the Native American flute, and it's actually I didn't actually realize this until I looked into it, but the scale on a Japanese shakuhachi and a Native American flute is actually the same. Uh, they're both pentatonic five note scales. It's just that you get a second set of octave, set of notes out of the Japanese shakuhachi, but this you only get one. So that's the standard Native American, North American flute. But actually when you go into, th there's no top octave there. Like I can lean into it a bit more like I did with these other flutes, but there's just no set of notes there. You'll, you'll end up uh, killing, killing your relationship or um, having the neighbours knocking on your door if you try too hard there. So the hybrid of these three, the tribrid, I guess you could call it, of those three style of flutes is this Shakuhachi Kenna Native American flute. Um, so you get the full sound of the, the South American flutes with the, the nice... Um, reflective, sad, reflective tone of the, the minor pentatonic scale. 
And the minor pentatonic scale is such that you can't play a wrong note because I've taken those intervals out. And on this flute, you can sometimes lift that finger and have that other option. So the specifications of these flutes, uh, well, firstly, they've been dried in the sun. I cut the bamboo myself from a bamboo, a running bamboo forest. And they dried in the sun, hot Queensland sun in the summer for two months. Um, and they were, they'd gone well and truly gone brown by that point. And then I, I cut them into the flutes from the big long bamboo and then I put a flame on it to um, bring out the oils. So the oil starts dripping out and I just wipe it off and then basically it ends up looking exactly like that from that point. Uh, and the flute should not crack at once you've done that process, the burning and the, the oil, bringing the oils out of it uh, because that's what makes the flutes crack. Um, unless, of course, some sort of physical injury like driving over it or standing on it happens. Uh, these sh flutes should last for a long time. Uh, the binding's nylon. Beautiful nylon binding that I get from Squirrely Stash, uh, which is an instrument quality binding provider. Uh, and if I could have a look, what the current colours I've got in are these, which I'm really looking forward to putting on some of my flutes. Um, so the outside of the flute after completion has a tongue oil and citronella mix wiped over it and then wiped off. And then that's a protection. And the inside, a big issue with these kind of flutes is after playing, there's condensation on the inside of the flute. So in order that that doesn't create an environment that molds can live in and grow in, I've put a food grade polyurethane coating of paint through the middle so that there's a layer of protection before the bamboo because the bamboo is what the mold uses for food along with the water for the environment. So with this food grade polyurethane, the bamboo should, should not take mold. But that being said, every time you play, don't put it straight back into the case. You should maybe leave it out overnight to dry to air out and dry. That's about it. Uh, no, no really other things to add with these flutes, except that they play nicely through the two octaves and they're actually quite easy to play, even with, this is a medium sized flute, but even for someone with small hands, like because there's only four holes and, and the middle fingers are just sitting on the flute as, as a foundation, it's actually very accessible. And finally, probably should mention that the like a, the standard side flute, to play them, you have to make this tiny little hole and then make this tiny little channel of air to come across the hole. And you also have to do that with these flutes. So what I've done is uh, I've actually developed uh, two separate trainings, a beginner training for someone who's just starting this process and all the, the ways to, the, the processes and the steps to go through to get that sound really solid. And then I've done a, another video for advanced players with all the special effects that you can get to make your playing sound really amazing. So that's about it for me on these uh, Kenna Shakuhachi flutes. Uh, if you've got any questions or you're wanting to source a flute, the links will be in the, in the, the description of this video to where to buy a flute. So have a great day and thanks for watching.